G'day guys, Greg here. Well, here I am in beautiful Karina in Brisbane, and today I'm going to go to Karina Seafoods to try their fish and chips. Now, Karina Seafoods got a 3.7 Google star rating, so let's hope that their fish and chips is better than their star rating. Let's go get one. Alright, well here we go, the Karina Seafoods Fish and Chips. I got a cotton chips, cost $10.80. Let's suss it out. Alright. Mmm. Yes. Yama. There's lots of paper, which is good. Whoa, whoa. Say. That looks well cooked. Well, the piece of fish is a decent size. And, well, there seems to be plenty of chips there. And I got chicken salt, of course, on the chips, which I love. Let's start off with some of their chips. They look very well cooked. Mmm. Yeah. Not bad. Crunchy enough. Soft in the middle. Very edible, actually. Mm. Oh, mm. That's some good crunch. Mm. Now, this batter looks pretty well cooked, doesn't it? Almost overcooked. And inside, well, it's a pretty big piece of cod there. It's actually really thick. It looks really, well, it looks a bit rubbery, actually. <laughs> I'll try some of the batter though. Mm. Not bad. Kind of greasy and oily. Which is exactly sometimes what you want. Now this fish. Mm, it's actually quite tender. I mean it looks like rubber but it's it's all right tasting it's not too bad that piece of fish is nice and thick too which is always a good thing and together mm. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that's a bit rough that mm. yeah that piece of fish it says it's cod, but it's a bit rubbery and a bit, well, average. Now, it did come with some lemon, so let's do the lemon test. Get rid of some of these seeds. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. Tastes pretty good with the lemon. This lemon's got some real sweetness about it too. Oh mate, this piece of fish is really thick too and the further I get into it, the less rubbery and better it gets. Like I said, the Karina Seafoods, it's got a 3.7 Google star rating. I wonder what sort of star rating the old Greg Owl will give it. Well, $10.80, that's about the standard price for a piece of fish like this. And you could probably get two feeds out of it and feed two people. The batter, well, that was all right. It wasn't too good, but it was all right. And the fish inside, well, it was a bit rubbery and not that good. But after a while, it got a little bit better. The chips, well, they were pretty good, actually. Nice and crunchy and just cooked to perfection and soft in the middle. So for my Grego star rating, I reckon this fish and chips deserves 
a 7 out of 10, which is 3.5 Grego stars out of 5 stars. It was pretty good, it wasn't the best, and uh, well, it still tasted alright, but the batter was a little bit uh, overcooked in the and it probably wasn't that good tasting, uh, but the chips and everything else was pretty good, and the, the fish wasn't that great, but it still it was a big chunky piece, so. Yeah, well, if you're ever around Karina, maybe you want a fairly decent fish and chips, whip on in to Karina Seafoods. Mate, if you do go there, mate, tell him Greg sent you. He might even have a clue, because I was in there filming his fish and chip shop. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I eat a fish and chips. See you then. Oh, yeah, this is Greg's kitchen where the reviews are finger.